Versus tonight's reunion show like there's simply a lot to take in like it was so funny i was laughing so hard and at some point it was emotional like i did not just know where to place my anger i was laughing so hard at tega and boma i mean guys if you see the way beatrice was disgracing herself on national tv i was like god what was that like it was just so irritating so guys welcome back again to my youtube channel is victoria here as always and if you are watching for the very first time you are most welcome do well to join the family by hitting on the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so that whenever i drop a video like this youtube will be able to notify you so guys with all that being said let's get into the drama of what went down on the day 11 of the big brother ninja shine your eye reunion show guys guys ha ah, jesus this episode is a lot there's a lot to unpack so guys tonight's reunion show started with a clip about beatrice arguing with the rest of the housemates when they were trying to prepare for a tax from that argument guys she was complaining that they were not given a opportunity to express herself but when every other person was speaking they will always allow other people to express themselves Guys, if you all recall that particular episode, it happened in the week one when Peace was the head of house. Yes, we all know that Peace was the first head of house of the season. And if we all remember, that was the way that Big Brother has given them the task to unravel the mystery behind the two white cards among them. And all the housemates, like they were trying everything they could to reveal the identity of the two white cards. But then Beatrice was acting really weird. She was acting and leading on the rest of the housemates making them feel as though she was a white cat yes even though she was complaining that she was mostly misunderstood so i was asking maria and even yemi is what they felt according to yemi it felt like beatrice played herself because of the way she undid the entire situation and at some point it also felt like he hearing was also one of the white cards and that was what led to his own evasion i was like hearing leave that one you're burning in the lab. so guys for maria she felt like beatrice was quite confusing to understand that there was a time she would try to approach beatrice for conversation and beatrice would get up and walk away or just leave her hanging there and for her she felt like it's okay this person is probably convicted about her personality in the house and does not really like probably know what she's looking for on the show so in her mind she has zoomed out beatrice that okay this person does not exist in this house now when you could move on to ask beatrice you know if she felt like what maria and hearing had actually said was true that was when beatrice started going for the attack oh, and i was wondering like why that was so unnecessary guys it was just a very simple question that ebuka had asked beatrice guys beatrice just started yabbing about oh and eh, for maria i don't like maria i mean guys the way this whole thing went from zero to one thousand percent god i don't really know like i was totally convinced because it was like one minute beatrice was talking about not liking maria okay what we are reason you know she said maria is like um maria is controlling she gave an example she, she said maria is controlling that um she said there was a time they were in the garden maria needed someone to buckle up her shoe and then she saw beatrice maria could have easily done it for herself and then she has called on beatrice oh beatrice come and help me buckle my shoe <laughs> and for maria <laughs> said she does not have any shoe that requires buckling in the house so what was she talking about this also gave another scenario according to her 
Inside, Maria was at the dining table, which was kind of close to the refrigerator, and Maria had called on her Beatrice to help her get a bottle of water. According to Beatrice, that was very, very offensive because why would Maria ask her to do so? So now, in Maria's own defense, Maria had said that in the house, everybody helps everybody to do something. You know, most of the time, people are sitting on the couch in the lodge, and then they'll see someone in the kitchen and call on the person to help them get something. But guys, Beatrice was not satisfied with that response. That was when she started raining insults on Maria. Guys, like, she did not even insult Maria alone. She went her head to call her a husband snatcher, blah, blah, blah. I was like, Beatrice, what's going on? How did it get to Maria being a husband snatcher? Did Maria snatch your husband? If it, even if it was a trendy conversation a while back, on social media that maria was having something to do with kelvin a married man it's none of your business even though we later heard that okay the kelvin is divorced and bitches just went on and on to the point that she was now shouting at maria that she was going to slap maria at this point i was like what is Beatrice doing? Is Beatrice moving mad? But at least Beatrice has moved closer to Maria. Why did why did she slap her now? Like I was expecting Beatrice to slap her. So guys, I was wondering that so Beatrice, like for real, Beatrice has beef against Maria that she has been preparing to come and display on the reunion show. Because because guys, once the way Beatrice went from zero to one thousand was completely, completely, completely insane. It did not make sense at all. It was rubbish. It was childish. It was just like guys, I don't even know. She acted like she's from the trenches. Honestly, I'm sorry to say that. So so one thing I like about Maria's response was that Maria told her that Beatrice, if you love yourself enough, you will not be throwing a threat towards me because I don't even see you. I don't even care. But guy, I'm sorry to see you, but tonight all what we saw from Beatrice was a load of insecurity, screaming out loud to be heard. Beatrice needs to go and sort her issue. Maria is not Beatrice's problem. She should please leave Maria alone. So guys, the conversation have moved on. One of the conversation that everybody have been waiting for. So we've come around to the conversation. And the conversation I'm talking about is about Tega and Boma relationship. Guys, we've seen clips. Like, we've seen a lot of clips of Boma and Tega doing all these unglody things like cuddling, whispering beneath the sheets. And you know, that faithful night, they actually knock each other two of them came out and we were lying that oh boma had um diagnosis it was eating out for tissue i was like guys it was so embarrassing watching the whole thing over again it's and to serve as more evidence to serve as they received the person went as far as adding the morning after conversation that boma and tega was having yes tega was literally telling boma that yes so now you can now start acting like a normal person and stop jumping around boma was even commending tega for a job well done i said look at both of you you people, <laughs> you people did not have sense people first of all came out of the house and you were shamefully lying that you did not do anything now we all have seen you in action again tonight what do you have to say for yourself Anyways, Ebuka had Fox asked most of the housemates, the likes of um, Michael and Kavi, and most of the housemates said, um, started raising their opinions. And the solution of what all the housemates were saying was that for some of them, they knew Tega was married and they were not really concerned about what she was doing because for them, it's none of their business. While on the flip side, the likes of Jackie B. Karen. maybe she wasn't really married maybe she was lying but by the time they got they got out of the house and they saw all the drama that was happening out there that was when they knew that oh my god this is actually a total mess for them it was just tega that felt like tega knowing that she was married she have exercise caution in doing whatever she was doing in the house in playing her game and whatnot now ebuka had moved on to boma he had asked boma why he did what he did but what was informing his action the now oh, according to boma he said a lot but to summarize what he said number one he said he knew what everybody else did not know that tega had opened up to him that she was actually separated so in his mind he was dealing with a single woman that tega had told him that a marriage has ended since 2020 and also 
His reason was that it was all a game to him. He was catching crews and he knew that people were going to be jealous about him of um having already having 200k followers and he was already very far. I was like, guy, see, you have no point. Even if it was the first point he gave, like it was still okay. But this jealous of you because you are very pied. Bam, boma. Leave there, leave there, leave that side. Guys, when you got move on to Tega, according to Tega, yeah, she said it was all cruise for her that the issue would not have blown himself out of proportion if the person that that is the father of her child, which is her ex husband, had kept his own part of the bargain. That they actually had an agreement that he would not show his face, that he would not say anything, he would stay in hiding till after the show. So that she was able to go ahead and play again. But the moment that man started granting interviews and exposing things, that was when things went south. Guys, this conversation is ethic. Like, it's a lot. But I also love that one question that Ebuka asked later. Ebuka has a, okay, fine. You knew that in this kind of society that we live in, Nigeria especially, marriage is sacred. People respect marriage institution. So knowing fully well that this... um. So knowing fully well that this thing definitely blew up your face, why do you not just say it on the show that she was separated? But Tega own reason still remain that it was all crews. Epoca asked them that like everything they were doing in the house, like the rubbish they were doing in the house, that hope there is no feelings involved. And according to both of them, there were no feelings involved at all. It was all a game, it was all crews, and that was when Boma had now made um that very stupid statement that eh, if he knew he would have exercised more um cautious he would have been more cautious because um he knows that we live in a um a political society which is true of course and then now at least um he said he said at least 95 percent of married men in nigeria they have girlfriend i say guy guy the fact that you are doing shit when you are married the fact that you have girlfriend when you are married does not mean 95 percent of married men in nigeria actually have a girlfriend but if you cannot went ahead to ask him a question which is where do you get your statistic from you know which is a very valid question of course where did boma get his statistics from you know this is one thing about people who do shit when they do shit they justify their action by generalizing the entire concept that everybody is just like that so for tega she has been going to l she said it's because she um she said it's because she has a thick skin that she has actually survived this this conversation is plenty so i'll leave you guys to your opinion in the comment section below and i'll be in the comment section below reading your own opinion so still eddie do well to like subscribe to my channel if you have not comment in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye